What a poet. And I know it. <laughs> On sunset. On sunset in Hollywood. We are playing hooky from the office. I'll have um, a cob salad. Mom always used to make, like, that was one of the few things she could make. Is she not a, a big cooker? No. no. Oh my gosh. No. My mom burnt her microwave. What? Yeah, she set she it on fire. Ow. She put a baked potato in there for 20 minutes. She's trying to make soup. She has no chicken broth. She'll just use water and then pour, like, spices in. Does she use like chicken bouillon at least? No. Like she'll just try. She just experiments. Oh, I thought that was a bad cook. We should stop talking about your mom. I know. <laughs> My poor mom. She'll disown you. Although she, wait, she texted me this weekend and it was funny. And she's like, You're my favorite thing to Google. And I was like, yeah, There's not much on Google about me. But that's my mother. One part I lived on on Hollywood Boulevard, like it was literally, literally, uh, literally. Yeah, it was like 200 feet, 300 feet, 200 yeah. feet, 500 from Hollywood Boulevard. You're like it was too. It, okay, it was five. Like it was more five than twice the amount that it was, I originally it was like, stated. It was like less than a block. But I was, this is my better side. We go to the bathroom. You want to turn it off? Talk to it. I feel like I'm probably kind of crazy sitting and talking to you. I also feel like I make funny faces. Thank Hello. you. You're welcome. Sure. Thanks. Appreciate it. I feel like I'm special in what I do, but I don't feel like I'm any different from anybody else because everybody's special. Okay. And I just yeah. have to believe that. If you could give one piece of advice to an aspiring writer, what would it be? Just write and read. I think reading is the key to writing. Okay. Well, so, and you know, just keep writing and don't be afraid to change things and don't think that you're right all the time. Because I thought that I was right in knowing certain things about this line keeping it. You need to be able to adjust. What's one thing that you added late in the stages of editing the book that you're just like so happy that you guys chose to put in? Um, a lot of things, but first of all, the the last thing that I added that I'm so glad I did is I changed the ending, and I love it so much more. Same with the prologues. Originally, there was never in any of the copies uh, hairspray. They didn't exist. A hairspray is a, the, like the lost souls of the earth, the people that have done bad things. And I took what I did is I took um, two French words. I took uh, perdu, which means lost, and esprit is soul. And so then I made it there you esprit go. and you've got lost soul. There you go. This is going to have to get edited. <laughs> yeah. I've learned how to censor myself around Barry. I'm the grand poobah. Hey guys, I um, hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you want to check out more and you're like my mom and have no idea how to do that, you should subscribe and you can get linked into all of this above wonderful stuff. And if um, I'm also supposed to do something else, oh, you should check out my glossy. Read it. There's the first two chapters online for free. So check it out. I'd love to know what you think.